Hold up, wait, hold up, wait Nigga, did you hear that shit? What? All that bass, all that bass I should put it on my strip what? In your face, in your face She wanted, I'ma take your bitch Yeah, niggas hate, niggas hate So fuck it, let me talk my shit Yeah, yeah, let me talk my shit Yeah, yeah, let me talk my shit Came up from the bottom, that young nigga rich And these hoes on my dick, let me talk my shit Yeah, yeah, let me talk my shit Yeah, yeah, let me talk my shit Came up from the bottom, that young nigga rich And these hoes on my dick, let me talk my shit yeah, 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 let me talk my shit 30 in the bag, I should buy me a brick I'm staying, I'm a man, you rely on the bitch King size, when I lay you slide on your dick here for URM at Red Maple for the official mixtape release of Blessings by Damon Blue. How are you? I'm blessed. How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. So this project is like getting a double deal. You have 19 tracks on this project. What made you want to give that much music to your fans? Because we, I felt like at the end of the day, everybody is shortage. It's a shortage of things. Nobody is able to get into the artists anymore. So I wanted to make a full length project, like a whole like uh, album, so to speak. That's how I approached it. You know, how I went into the tracks. We actually sat down and spent two, three days to mix each record. You know what I'm saying? Like we really went hard. We spent about a year and a half putting it together. Um, and, and right now it's just a beautiful thing. I wanted to, I wanted the people to get a little bit of me, a little bit of me from each side, you know what I mean? I didn't want to short anything, you know? So you have a couple of really heavy hitters as far as producers, especially here from Baltimore on this project. Top two being Jay Oliver and Ghost. What was it like working with them and why did you choose them to be a part of this project in particular? Man, first and foremost, shout out to them guys. They're incredible. They wanted they they some of the talented uh, producers in the world. Some of the most talented producers in the world that's putting together the music. My ace is Ghost, that's my right hand man, you know what I'm saying? Jay Oliver, that's another heavy hitter. I just rock with all these guys because they, they humble, they stick to what they do. It's no change in what they do. They always show me love and support when nobody wanted to give me no love. And uh, I still feel like the underdog sometimes, that's why I work so hard. But uh, at the end of the day, them guys is, is some people that keep pushing me, man. Shout out to Ghost and Jay Oliver, man, and all the other producers who produced on it. Okay, so on top of the great producers that you had on this project, I mean, because the album, literally, you can press play and don't want to skip a track, which is great. Thank you. Thank you. So, you also have some amazing collaborations. You have Bun B, you got King Los, you have um, Poison Ivy, you got a lot of people on the Fat Trail. I mean, I mean, like, when you talk about the DMV and Maryland being on lock, you definitely represent on this project. What made you pick some of these people, and especially for the tracks that you picked them for? Well, a lot of it, a lot of it comes from the feeling. You know, we spent a lot of time in Miami recording this album, and uh, and it was we was just getting different sound, different music, different flavors. We was even eating different foods. You know, we was just trying to make a transition with this one, um, and that was just making a statement by reaching out to some of these premier artists, some of the OGs in the game, some of the hottest up and coming. You know, Fat Trail. That's 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 my guy. He an hour and 45 minutes away from here. You're from DC and he showed me love. You know, bun the same way. Um, is this all about your work ethic and with your team and, and how they put it together? You know, I chose those people because I knew they would make my project elevate to the next level. I would set the bar high for whoever was going to put something out, you know, because at the end of the day, we all know this is a competition and it's about who's going to be the hottest, you know what I mean? Flat out. So, what would you consider to be one of your biggest blessings so far this year? Waking up every day to see 25. I'm alive, I'm able to feed my family and do what I love to do. I got a wonderful team around me, that's a blessing. None of this stuff don't matter at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's all about your peace of mind and it's all about becoming what you think about. That's my whole ordeal. That's my blessing, you know what I mean? Real rap. Well, I mean, you're definitely a very humble person, but anybody who's probably paid attention to you over the last year and a half, your marketing is aggressive, especially coming out of Baltimore. How involved are you with the actual, you know, orchestration of your marketing, and how important has that been to your advancement as an artist? At the end of the day, I'm actually in tune with the music. I'm a fan first. So I'm, I go on World Star, I go on uh, Snapchat, I go on Spin Rilla and check out the music myself. Uh, and I have some heavy hitters, my team. Um, they, they just, they, they real, they go in for anything. They, they groundhogs, they find out anything. They on top of everything. We ain't gonna let nothing slip. You know, we, do, we, we doing what everybody don't wanna do. Like going to speak to the kids, you know, creating resources for them. You know, we don't, we, we, we stopping for every picture. We, we stopping for every interview. We, you know, we giving everybody love. We giving everybody inspiration, you know. 
because it ain't just about me, man. It's about the city. It's about what we can do. You know what I mean? So I'm just a huge representation of it. I'm going to embody Baltimore. We need to get this identity to the world. You know what I mean? We need to let them know what really goes on in Baltimore. You know what I mean? My man Moose, he doing his thing. My man Tess, he doing his thing. Stars, he doing his thing. The whole crew, they all doing their thing. Why? Because we want to give our testimony to the world. You know, and it's just so happening right now. It's my time. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody who's working. Baltimore. Yeah, definitely. Baltimore is definitely going on the mat right now. I mean, the attention has been crazy. On top of that, we have word that you're going on tour with King Los and MGK for a couple months. How are you even preparing for something like that? Like, that's major. You don't prepare. You got to be ready. You got to prepare, you know, but, you know, you, you, you just have to be with it. You have to be a part of it. You have to want it. You know what I mean? And that's what it's about. And I, I pray. I, I have a real strong relationship with God. You know what I mean? And I pray for these certain things that's going on in my life right now. And I, and I became what I thought about, you know, every day. Constantly thinking about music. Constantly thinking about making it. Constantly thinking about doing records with Los. Now I'm doing a record with him. You know, we build a relationship. That's my guy. Shout out. Go get God Money War if you don't have it. Number five album on Billboards. If you don't know, man, Baltimore is killing the game right now. You know what I mean? Big shout out to him. But uh, it's a blessing. You know what I mean? Okay, last but not least, let's tell the people, I mean, we already know because we've been playing it, but let's let everybody else who hasn't heard it yet know where they can play it, where they can get it, how they can support the project. Um, you can follow me on Dat Piff. You can follow me on Facebook, Spinrilla, DTLR, Hot New Hip Hop, all over the place. Just Google Damon Blue and you're going to find the project if you want it, you know? All right, so that's our interview with Damon Blue. You heard it. It's 19 tracks from top to bottom. Man, shout out to my man Johnny King, man. Don't nobody ever say nothing about my man. He holding the camera down. You know what it is. It's the kid Damon Blue, man. Tell me, underground radar. You know. I just took over. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Are we good? So we're here. We're at Damon Blue's official release at Red Maple for Blessings. Download it. Check it out. Share it. It's a hot project. Top to bottom. No skips. That's what it is. We'll see y'all later. Satisfied. Satisfied. Never.